All right, so as you probably know by now, I will be reviewing um, the Magic School Bus as a series. Um, that includes books, um, the like, how long are these? Like the 25 minute episodes. I did do a clay mask like a little bit ago and it made my skin really red. I'm not sunburned. Okay. <laughs> Let's hit it. First thing I'd like to point out, I am on episode one, and this is about um, them getting lost in space. And it's really a throwback because at this point there were still nine planets. Agree to disagree. That's just not where we are now. So I thought that was like interesting. Okay, so we're still episode one, and I'm like five minutes in. Three minutes and 33 seconds um really um so in this episode arnold's cousin janet comes and like they're dressed exactly the same they look exactly the same um and i'm just gonna play this scene and let you take from it what you think you need to take from it Okay, so I'm halfway done with the first episode, and I'm gonna be honest, it is not good. Um, the characters have no likable qualities about them, not one of them. It's said maybe Miss Frizzle, but even then it's like, I mean, Carlos like tells jokes. I don't know, everyone's just, like, not likable, and I'm barely learning anything. First of all, Janet comes on this school trip, this isn't even her class, and then ruins the entire field trip. And, like, yeah, you know your planets, but, like, is that worth the price that you, like, is that worth it, you know? Like, she took some of Mars, Mercury, Venus even got some of Jupiter, and it's like, just, like, mind your business. Must be Uranus, you can tell by its tilting faint gray rings, and its blue-green gases. Because Uranus doesn't do a thing for me, so you can get off me, okay? Sorry, Janet. Janet, you want proof? I'll give you proof. Here's proof of what will happen to you if you stay here with your stuff. Arnold, no! Um, yeah. So, I'm done with episode one now. Um, I think by the end, there were a lot of redeeming qualities for some of the characters. Not Janet. Ruined the entire episode, personally, in my opinion. Um, like, anyway, so I'm gonna go to another random episode, because I'm obviously not going in order, because I'm not gonna see, like, four, ep like, four seasons of this, um, but I'm just giving, like, because I feel like when I was younger, I thought this was, like, the best, the best, so now I'm like, is it, right now I can tell you it's not, but maybe I'll feel better after seeing a couple more episodes, so. So in this episode, they're making, well, it's Miss Frizzle's birthday and they forgot a cake. So they have to like become tiny and go in a bakery and make a cake, but they're like small. Um, so far it's been what you'd expect from an episode like that, so. I like it. Let's see, the plane dabbers connected to the din plunker, the black bladders connected to the- uh, Man, this is tough when you're half the size of a hot dog. Could be worse, Arnold. I don't see how. Whoa! Now I do. And 
like, what's this cube? And then they licked it, and they're like, it's salt. And then the other one was like a diamond, and they're like, whoa. And then someone else licked it, and then they're like, it's sugar. And then they're like, it looks the same when you're big, but when it's really broken down, they're completely different. So that was good. Um, I don't really know what I was expecting, um, but I do kind of feel disappointed because it's, it doesn't really, it's just not really, I don't know, because, like, whenever I see other older, like, shows that I would have seen when I was younger, like, it's still, I don't know, not all of them, obviously, but, like, they still hold a little bit of, you know, I don't know. I'm just not connected. Maybe that's what it is. Um, so, they also have new ones, like, that was made in 2000 and... 18. So, oops. Ah. The animation is very different. But I will be seeing one of those and see if it's like different. Obviously, it's going to be different, but like the storyline and stuff. Um and see if that's any different than the old one, which is from 1997. So, we'll see. First of all, that animation. I don't even know how I feel about it yet, but it's like completely different. Like, and I get that. Because it's like 20 years later. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. Whoa. Okay, so Kate McKinnon from SNL is the voice of Miss Frizzle. Didn't see that coming. Better the plane. See it for real. I don't know. <gasps> well, I'm in. Or should I say out? No way. What? You guys act like you've never jumped out of a plane before. Uh, huh? Yeah. <gasps> okay. So, it's like the same concept, obviously. But it is, like, completely different. Like, like the characters aren't, like, the same personality. Miss Frizzle isn't, like, really, like, seems more careless. And, like, I get you'd probably say, oh, Miss Frizzle was careless in the first one. But it's, like, it's a lot different. Um, and I don't know how I feel about it. I like that they tried. I'll give them that. But it's, like, not... Like, huh. like when they did the rerun, not rerun, like the new That's a Raven, Raven's Home, even though that was completely different, it was enjoyable, it was um, funky, it was fresh, it was everything that you would have, could have wanted from it. It wasn't really about Raven, but like you still like... You got something out of it. It was good. But with this, it's like... I don't know. It's just like not that same feeling. I don't know. Phew. Thanks, guys. You know, as my great aunt Gertie used to say, you mess with ice until pay the price. She was weird, but she was smart. Okay, so again, I did... Sp I did spoke too I spoke too soon I again spoke too soon um so I did end up liking the episode it was pretty good it was different um and it wasn't like the same feeling but it was new so it wasn't like there were some parts like um the song and like <gasps> was the lizard in there I 
hold on. Great Aunt Gertie used to say, you mess with- Yeah, so I looked back at the episode, um, no lizard in sight. That's all I think needs to be said about that. Um, I will now be going on YouTube and typing in um, a reading of one of the books. And so we get all different areas of um, the magic school bus so I can complete a full analysis. You know, it wouldn't be right if I didn't. There is always a surprise. Her dress is a surprise. Where we go on our next class trip? Um, okay, so now I'm done with all my forms of magic school bus. Um, this is also propped up on three pillows. Um, so, yeah. Um, but now, um, I will be going over every um, character and giving them a rating and this will be very similar but not at all there won't be like a thing it'll just be me um, talking so that's what we got um wow that's confusing okay so I just have um little thing of all of them um that I found at my local Google Unleashes um so I'm gonna go through and rating them in um their character their demeanor and overall um likability so I'll be doing um kind of magic school bus style so the top um thing they could get would be baked in a cake um and then the one right after it would be traveling the solar system. Maybe those should be the other way around. Okay, traveling the solar system, baked in a cake, and then stuck in your friend's scab. Um, season one, episode three, if you didn't know what I was talking about. Um, so we're first gonna start out with Arnold. Arnold's right here. He's definitely stuck in someone's scab. Um, he, well, like, I get it, though. Like, he didn't, like, he is never happy. He hates all the field trips. Um, just, like, consistently miserable. And it's like, there are things you could do about that. And he just chooses to complain. So, that's beyond me. Um, next is Phoebe. That's Phoebe. Phoebe, I think, is irrelevant. Um... Not to be, like, controversial or anything, but Phoebe is irrelevant. That wasn't even one of them, but I don't think... Because if Arnold is scab... I don't know. Okay, Carlos. Carlos is right here. He's the one that tells all the jokes. He's always, like, has a quick comeback and is always the one to, like, come up with a plan and keep things rolling. So, I think Carlos gets traveling the solar system. Um, pretty good. Um, next is Dorothy Ann, also known as DA. Um, purple sweater, pigtails. Um, I would give her baked in a cake. Um, I should need this. Um, baked in a cake, definitely. Um, because she's very um passionate about like whatever's going on but then also like gets stuck in her own head and she's like no i have to do it this way i have to do it this way so it's like no you don't dorothy ann there's other people around you besides yourself next is well i don't know janet was only in well the only episode i saw she's on here like i said you already know how i feel about her That's okay ralphie it's going to be a model of the solar system. Neat, huh, Janet? Uh, I hate to tell you, Cousin Arnold, but when my class built one, the sun was so huge, we had to hang it from a flagpole. And you had all nine planets? 
That's right, Keisha. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. My class already studied the solar system. Anyway. Next is Keisha. Right here. Again. Um... The episodes I saw, she wasn't really involved. Um, I think she's more involved than Phoebe was, so not completely irrelevant. Um, but not enough to really know where she's at. So I'd give her... Because, like, she didn't do anything to become a scab. But she also, like, didn't do anything in general. So... I don't know. That's hard. That's hard. I'll give it to her though. Like, yeah. She's definitely baked in a cake. Helpful. Doesn't really complain. I think I can relate. So, anyway. Next is Miss Frizzle. Do I even need to show you? I don't, I shouldn't. Um, okay. Probably not what you think. I don't think Miss Frizzle is solar system worthy. Because just always, at one, her outfits are great. I'll give her that. Um, she knows a lot about science, you know, enough to be a teacher. But also, like, always gets them in a mess. Like, it's not just, oh, let's go do this. It's always like, let's plan to do this, and then everything goes wrong and we almost die. So, like, from a teacher perspective, I would not, like, cool field trips, but not really good teaching. I mean, maybe, because it's not like, this is how this works, this is how this. It's like, go experience it, make your own mistakes. <sighs> I'm at a crossroads. I think I'm going to give her baked in a cake. Yeah. Okay. The next one, the bus. The magic school bus um, himself. Definitely traveling the solar system with this one. Um, consistent, overworks, underpaid. Um, really the star of the show. Obviously it's in the title, but it does not get the recognition. It's always like, oh, let's use the bus, let's use the bus, but it's not really bus. Like, you know, like, do you want a day off? No one asked. Um, so that, I, yeah, the bus is great. Next, oh, I don't know his name. Wait, did I mix them up? No need to be alarmed. Um, his name's Ralphie. Um, if that tells you anything about that I didn't even remember, right there, right there. Um, Ralphie, I think, tries to be like Carlos, like, he's trying to tell jokes, but, like, no one really laughs, they're just like, okay. Um, so I'd give him definitely scab. He's definitely stuck in a friend's scab. Nothing you could do about it. Anyway, next one is Tim. Right here. And I think Tim has a lot of good ideas, but he never really, like, goes for it. You know, when they're like, oh, what do we do, what do we do? Like, Tim says something, but, like, it never gets picked. So, like, <clears throat> I think there's a lot of effort behind what he's trying to do. So, like, you gotta give him that. You gotta give him effort. Um, also, like, he's never been... Like, everyone else has been, like, very annoying. Except for the bus. And Tim. And Wanda. Wanda's next. I like Wanda. And Liz, the lizard that didn't even get put in the new Netflix 2018 show. It's... Anyway, that's another thing. Um, so yeah, I'd give Tim... What did I say? I think Tim gets, like, baked in cake because solar system is, like, you really have to put yourself out there. And he does, but maybe that's not his fault, though. 
I don't even know if this is a very bad video. I don't know. I feel like I had higher expectations coming into this and they're, they should have been here to start with. That was my fault. Okay. Next is Wanda right here. Wanda is, um, like someone who kind of is like behind the scenes until like it is absolutely nothing else you can do. So then Wanda's like, okay guys, I got this. Um, and then like, she doesn't listen to anyone else. She's like, I know what needs to get done. And then she does it. I think, but then again, Wanda isn't like a major character. But who's to say, honestly, she drove the bus in space. So if that doesn't tell you, you need to get solar system. I don't know what does. Also, the next one is Liz, the lizard. Obvious, I think where I'm going to put Liz in solar system because, again, like whatever Miss Frizzle can't do, Liz can do, if not better. Um, it's a lizard, but also a teacher. Um, has been on all the planets um saved Miss Frizzle's life and then gets cut from the 2018 Netflix show. I don't think that's right. Um so yeah this video has been way too long and I um I don't know. It wasn't what I remembered it being. Like it's a good mix of like nonsense and like learning so I, I guess that's good for like a kids show but it wasn't all that good I don't want to be controversial like I said so I'm just saying this is my opinion that's all that's it that's all